This is a pretty simple pattern. Uh, if you break things down all the way, you end up with this one shape used over and over again. So let's create just that. Um, what it is is essentially just a rectangle. We've got a rounded outer edge and an inner round here. And if you flip rotate that around, it's going to be the exact same thing down here. So let's create a rectangle. And we'll make that blue. We'll start with this shape here. And then I'm going to create a circle that has the same radius as the rectangle's width. And let's drag this out of the way. We'll grab these two nodes. We'll delete them. And then we'll go back with the pen tool. And finding these intersects, we'll create that inner round. So let's duplicate that around and rotate it. Now we can grab this node and this node and then we'll round those out. And that's the shape. That's all we need really. So let's merge those together. And you'll notice that our Bezier handles run in the exact same direction here, which is good. Because now we will skew this with Alt and Shift. It's only showing Shift on there, but it, I am holding Alt. And now we've got that shape angled. And you'll notice when I take a look at the handles, they're running in the direction of this line, which is also what we want. Otherwise, you could end up with like some, some bumpy stuff, kind of like that. So what we'll do now is we'll duplicate this over and then transform reflect and we'll make a copy and we'll push this over here change it to a lighter blue and we'll grab all of these and shift them over and hit control D and there you go you got a pattern and what you can also do is we'll take these, we'll delete them, since I know that these are exact same distance apart. Let's make a rectangle. And I'm going to find this intersect point here. And I'm going to run it to the exact same intersect point over here. We'll go to the outer edges. And let's cut that. We'll group those, paste in place. And now I'm going to use the divide tool and we'll ungroup that and let's get rid of all of this unnecessary stuff here. Oop. Actually go back in time. Now we'll divide. Otherwise I would have ended up with some uh, really wonky looking stuff there. So let's ungroup. We can delete all of this and all of this and that leaves us with just the shapes we need as a repeating pattern so yeah that uh, looks right so let's group that and with our brushes palette click new we'll make a pattern brush hit OK and um, yeah that, that'll work so now if you needed to you could draw some complex shapes and apply your pattern and now you've got DNA all over the place so yeah hope that helps